What's up guys, True Incendio here, bringing you a new video of my gaming setup of 2014. Now I just posted one the other day, but it, for some reason the quality turned out really bad, so I'm going to redo it. Alright, the first thing we have here is my bed. Normal queen size bed, no big deal. Next thing we got here is uh, all my boxes for different things I purchased. Uh, I can turn on this light here, you can see it a little better. Just all my boxes, um, PC specs, Xbox One things, Control Freaks, you know, Turtle Beaches, Astro, Elgato, Mix Amp, uh, my iPhones in the past, iPad. You know, the normal boxes, you know, that you kind of keep um, for your setup. Alright, so moving on to the setup itself. First thing we have here for the setup, we have a 48-inch uh, Vizio television right here. Uh, this is what I play GTA on when I'm not playing Advanced Warfare. Uh, just a few stickers here. I got Razor sticker, uh, Apple, it's kind of invisible, uh, Elgato, and Volcom. Just some stickers that I've gotten from past boxes that I've opened, different things like that. Alright, so now we have the Xbox One. Uh, I have this hooked up. The HDMI goes into my monitor over here. And then I switch out the HDMI cable when I want to play GTA on the large screen. So now we can come over here to the keyboard section. Uh, this is a Razer Black Widow uh, Ultimate Stealth here. Love it. Um, I had a Razer Tarantula, I think it was, uh, before this keyboard, and it wasn't mechanical. This one is mechanical, and I love that. Uh, moving on to the mouse pad here. Another Razer product that I bought. Really like Razer for uh, accessories and different things like that. Uh, cloth mouse pad, pretty, pretty, pretty good. <laughs> uh, we have a uh, for the mouse I have here is a Logitech G602. I just caught that lamp, and that was a nice save. Oh, oh, here we go. All right, there we go. So it's a wireless, and uh, the battery life is insane. I think I've replaced the batteries once in three months. It's awesome. Um, it's got a lot of buttons. It can be a pro and con to different games. You can accidentally hit them, but it's also helpful in certain games. All right, so this is my Mixamp Pro. Uh, I have this running to my Xbox and to my PC so I can listen on my Xbox One and like use Skype calls or something on my PC at the same time. Uh, my Elgato HT60. Uh, this is running to my Xbox. This is running to my monitor. And this is just a cable that's running to my computer. Alright, so the next thing that we have here is a Asus monitor. Uh, it's nothing too special. I think it's like 4 or 5 millisecond response. I'm definitely going to purchase a new one here so I can get the 1 to 2 millisecond. Uh, I feel like that's going to help me with the gaming and reaction time. But it is Asus. I think it's 22 inch monitor right there. This one's I think is it's a cheaper brand, uh, LG. Uh, it's for my old PC, but I do my editing and Skype calls and different things on this monitor right here. And it's an LG, I believe it's 19 inch, like I said. Uh, next is my headset. Astro A40 uh, Red Edition. I think it actually is the Neon Edition, but they have red in there just because it's a bright color. Moving on to the cam. My cam is a uh, crappy one. It's Logitech, uh, but I think it's I think it's a C290 or something like that. It's not the best one you can get, but it, it does get the job done. Next up, we have our speakers. Now, I don't really use these speakers. I bought them just in case I ever listen to uh, some music in my room, but I believe I have it over here, too. I believe I've only used it once or twice. Um, <clears throat> I guess I figured I used my headset more often. So now we have my iPad, it's charging right now, don't use it too much, um, it just kind of sits there now that I'm using my PC. Alright, so now I've moved the lighting down towards my PC. Now my PC, I believe this is a NZXT case that is uh, Guardian, I believe, I believe it's a Guardian series here. Um, got some LEDs in there that are not quite turned on, but some specs. Uh, I've got a, I believe it's an Asus Hero 6 version, and uh, I got Intel i7 4770K, 
Um, it's a pretty good GTX 770, 16 gigs of RAM, Corsair Vengeance. So it's a pretty solid computer that I built over the summer. Back here we've got my modem and our router. Uh, this router right here I believe is just a, I think it's a Cisco. Um, it works just fine for my iPad and phone and everything like that. And this right here is modem. And once again, it's nothing too special, but it does get the job done. One thing I did forget over here on the Xbox One section is my Xbox One controller. Now, I do not have a scuff yet, but I might be getting one sometime. We'll see. Depends how things play out. Um, but I do have control freaks on here. These are control freak bombshells. Go check out my other video of me reviewing them. I love them a lot. They really do help your game, and you can't play without them. And now the last but not least things, my green screen. Um, one of my most recent purchases here. Here's the stand that goes all the way up and down. And uh, I actually just did set this up last night, and it works beautiful. The uh, camera is in sync with it, and uh, there's no background fuzz or anything. So it'll be helpful to start making videos and streaming. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Uh, here's just another run over my whole setup here. Um, I'll link about 90% of these things in the description here. So you can go check them out if you're interested in some of these. There's controller, Xbox is down there, green screen, and boxes. So if you did like this video, uh, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. Be making more videos and get some gameplay for my Elgato HG60 coming up here pretty soon. Um, I'll be doing some more unboxings of different things. So stay tuned for all that, guys. Peace out.